Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's talk about why building a business with a job is hard but worth it. So I, it's my opinion that people that are building a business or people that want to build a business, they want more money, they want passive income. I think what holds a lot of people back from achieving that and seeing it through and actualizing the results and doing it uh, as a full-time thing I think what holds a lot of people back is the beginning, right? Because I think a lot of people, when they realize like how much their job takes of them, when they get home, they don't have the energy. They don't have the drive. Their their life force is sapped. Their passion is sapped from them. And they just, as a result, they go home and they just squander the rest of their time because they're tired. And one thing I can say is that I resonate with that because I have a job right now and there's times like I have to do laborious there's days where I have a lot of labor like physical labor that I have to do I have to lift a lot of things right I have to lift big boxes take out big trash bags uh, you know run around just do a lot of stuff right around around the the job that I work and there's days I come home and I'm I'm exhausted. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like I have no, some days it's like, bro, I can't go to the gym right now. Like I, I literally can't. And some days I have to choose between like, what do I, okay. I have like some energy. There's always energy I have at the end of the day. Sometimes I have more than I do on some other days, but there's days where it's like, yo, I have to choose between the gym or creating content. And it's like, I know that if I create content, that's going to yield a better result for me in the long run because when I'm free, when I'm financially free and I don't have to work this job, I can use the eight hours that I spent at the job, you know, and during that period, I can spend two of those hours at the gym and I'll still have energy to make YouTube content, work on my business, do what I need to do. And I think that that's what gets a lot of people stuck is that they, they, watch a YouTube video, they get inspired to escape the rat race, they get inspired to invest, to start a business, to to do it, to uh, pick themselves up uh, by their straps and, and figure it out, right? Strap boot themselves to success. But once you really get to like understanding how tough it is to perform every day, most people aren't built for that. Most people aren't that once they realize like what it's actually going to take for them to achieve the life they want, they don't, they don't do it or they do it for a couple months and then they stop. Right. But one thing I want to, uh, assure you guys is that if you keep going, if you keep doing it day in and day out, it's not about where you are right now. So you might be starting out, you might have a, a small channel, you might have a small audience, you might not have a lot of money to invest to hire a mentor, you might not have a lot of money right now to um, hire someone to edit your videos or to do your marketing or whatever. But I can assure you that over time, if you stick with it, over time, you, you will start to grow, you will start to see the fruits. And one of the things that keeps human beings going is growth, right? Like I there's been times where I can assure you that this is the truth because I sucked for years. I and you know I I'm still I still have a lot of work to do. I still have a lot of development with my speech. I still have a lot of things I need to a lot of skills that I need to acquire. But one thing I can say is that the fact that I keep going, the fact that you know if you have a channel or you have a business and you keep doing it even when you have a job, imagine right? Just imagine for a second how easy. And how much better your business is going to be when you're able to to finally leave your job. Like, okay, for example, right? I make YouTube videos pretty much every day, right? Once, twice a day. I make them on my days off. I make them on my days where I work. I make them every day. Every day I'm making YouTube content, right? So there's days where I'm like, okay, I know this video is probably... Like, I, I can tell when a video is not going to be like that great because I know like I'm tired, right? Or I just feel, I don't have, like my brain isn't functioning, like the ideas aren't clicking in my head. And I'm like, all right, I might not be able to communicate this very well, but I'm gonna do it because it's it's part of the person I wanna become. It's part of my brand. It's part of who I need to be to make this a reality, to make this thing work in the long run. 
So I know that like there's days where like, yo, like my video, you can like have contrast and look, you can see the contrast. Like today I have a day, this is my day off, right? I slept nine hours, right? I went, I worked out, I haven't ate yet, so I'm fasted. I had a Celsius, I had some caffeine, so my brain's good. Like I'm functioning well, I haven't ate anything yet. So like I said, I have a lot of um, brain power to be able to communicate and generate ideas, right? This is my third video today. Uh, and I can say that, you know, the difference between me uploading videos on a day off compared to my nine, the days I upload when I work nine hours, right? Is it's like night and day, like the amount of value that I can generate on my days off versus the days I'm working. And the, the ways I communicate, the ways I like connect dots are a lot more concise and uh, potent when I have, I'm well slept, I'm well rested, right? Like I'm stress free, I have no stress. Right, I don't have to stay an extra three hours at my job because someone called out. Like the the you can see the difference, right? Is what I'm trying to say. So if you're someone right now who knows, like, okay, like I hate this job I'm at, and I want to start a business. Maybe you've already started content creation, or you've started doing your sales process, or whatever it is. You've started copywriting. You set up like funnels, or you set up things to get you some income. I want to assure you that no matter how bad it is, no matter how much it sucks, no matter how much you hate it or you just don't feel like doing it, I want you to see the light in the sense that it's going to be better when you, you you're going to be a lot better at it when you have more time, when you have the, the amount of, when you think about if you have all day, right, to work on your business, you're going to be a lot better at it than someone who just has an hour or two at night to work on it after their 10 hour work day or nine hour work day, right? When you have full force, when you have full focus, when you're well rested, when your stress is relatively low, um, when you're healthy, right? When you've like, you're in control of like your food consumption, the quality of food you eat, the quality of the environment you're in, your results are going to skyrocket. And I think that's where a lot of people trip up. They trip up in those first two years, three years, four years, when it's like, hey, I gotta grind every day at my after my job, when I'm tired, when I don't feel like it, when I'm stressed, when I'm frustrated. And it doesn't even have to be a, like a physical thing too. Like, like I make videos when I'm stressed or tired or, or like just, yeah, like I'm just not feeling like making a video, I still make them. But I think another thing too is like, it's hard as well to make content or to work on your business or to push through when you're, like doubting yourself or when you don't have the results, right? Because it's like, yo, I've never done this before. So it feels like, how is this gonna work? And it's scary too. I think a lot of people, they don't, they stop because they're scared in a sense. Like it's the unknown, right? Like if you're starting a coaching business or you're trying to develop skills in sales or you're learning to uh, sell to people or you're learning uh, copywriting, it's scary because you haven't done it, right? Like we're we're obviously creatures of comfort, so we're comfortable doing things that we know how to do already. Like you know how to do your nine to five job perfectly fine right now, right? So it doesn't really scare you, right? But doing something that you don't know how to do, right? You know, there's gonna be in the beginning, like you're not good at it, you suck at copywriting, you suck at sales calls, you suck at whatever, content creation, you suck at talking in front of the camera, but you know, like I said, most people don't want to get like they don't want to get better or, you know, they realize like what it's really going to take for them to get to that next level and they just stop. Right. So I just want to assure you guys that if you keep going, like over time, the skills that you need to develop will get better over time. And when you finally have enough money to, like I said, quit your job, that's when you're going to be really able to like double, triple, quadruple your income, your audience, like whatever you're trying to build. And obviously, you know, you'll have more time to do research, to read, to study, to learn more things about whatever you're selling to people, right? Or whatever your service is, right? So I just want to give you guys hope for, um, you know, the future of whatever you're trying to build, whatever you're working towards. And I just want to assure you that things will work out if you just, like I said, dial in every day. And another thing is the, the you will get better at it right? Like if the more you do something, the better you get at it. Like I, I, if I make a video once a week, I'm not going to be as good as if I made 
one video every day, right? So the everyday aspect of it is key to internalize and key to accept as a means to achieve the results you want. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And as always, I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.